Hey friends, Tux here. For this particular video, we'll be unboxing the PlayStation Portal, okay? This is a handheld device that is actually allowing you to remote play your PlayStation, and maybe a little bit more. It's not quite a Vita, it's more of a remote player, okay? If you did remote play on Vita back in the day, it's this, and then a lot more. I did recently do a review for the PlayStation Portal and PlayStation earbuds. So if you haven't seen the video for that, you may want to check out these amazing little earbuds too, okay? But the link for that will be down below in the queue. The link for both these items for Amazon will also be in the description, okay? All right, let's go ahead and dive in and unbox the PlayStation Portal. Looking at the box, it's definitely a nice looking retail packaging. Fits the whole aesthetic with the blue, with the PlayStation 5 white. We got a picture of the player. Originally, I thought it looked a little awkward how this big screen was between these two halves of a controller, but actually, it's kind of grown on me a little bit. Um, on the side here, talks about it's for a PS5. Over here, talks about a few of the little amenities here. This is CFI Y101001, okay? There'll probably be some different versions about this throughout the, the time. Uh, no PlayStation... PSP, rather, um, had several versions, some being better than others, so that might be something to watch down the road. Um, for English, it's interesting, this is English and French. Um, English, we got the PlayStation Portable Remote Player, USB cable, and printed materials. I don't know if this is really considered like an international version, if this is just strictly a US version. Again, this was purchased on the PlayStation Store, so it wasn't like some weird French website or anything. Um, so there, there's that. I do notice on the back here, we do have like PlayStation English here, get access to your favorite PS5 console over home Wi-Fi, uh, letting you jump right into gaming without need for a TV. I think that's important for a lot of households, maybe, but then it goes right into French here. So um, kind of interesting, uh, play your game collection. Uh, looks like it's compatible with PlayStation 5, including your favorite PS4 games. I wish it worked on PS1. I'd love to play some, some Ridge Racer, you know? Um, experience, breathtaking immersion, okay? Feel the incredible immersion, okay, with haptic feedback and adaptive triggers to, for supported games. So uh, more about that in a bit. We got Spider-Man here. We got the PS5 logo. Again, great looking packaging. Let's go ahead and open this bad boy up. Now, I do know there is... This one here actually had a PlayStation seal. I want to say there's another one in our household that we got, which I don't think had that seal, but definitely had these like clear white labels. And originally I thought that was interesting. I didn't know if that was like third party um, packing or something, but hopefully you can kind of see right there. See the glossy versus the shiny. You kind of see there's a big circle sticker covering both ends. Let's go ahead and then I'm gonna grab my scissors here and we will go ahead and shop this open here. I'm gonna try and be nice to this box. I like to try and save my video game boxes. There we go, and looks like this was the right side. We might have to open both. Nope, looks like it slides out. So we have a gray box inside a white box. All right, let's try and pull this out here. There we go. And I will go ahead and put this to the side. Kind of funny, it actually has another box in the box. This looks like this could almost be sold kind of just like this if it had a, like a nicer label on it. Um, oh, that's interesting. We have a nice little, check out this, this is a nice touch. Looks like a, like a shoe box or like a library like card box. You pull this open and look at that. That is really cool. That's a nice, nice little touch. Very cool packaging. Um, here we do have remote player and it is in French as well, which again is kind of an interesting choice. Like I would almost think it'd be more like Spanish, English or something, but not, not French. All right, we're gonna pull this open. Maybe this is for Canada or something. That could be. All right, so we pull this out. Very nice uh, box, looking good. And inside the box is this box. Really blown away with this nice little pull tab with, of course, a little PlayStation logo there. So that's really cool. We have a little corner here we can pull out. It's got the PlayStation logo right there as well. I wonder how my PlayStation logos will be in this video. Uh, let's open this up here. Is that is that backwards? Well, I kind of feel like this is almost upside down or something. Yeah, probably not. Okay, no, no, that's right. Okay, let's pull this out. We'll look at this in a moment, but I want to take a look at the accessories. I think we have some accessories here in the hiding in the bottom. And it looks like all we have here is actually a very paper, like almost like tissue paper type manual in English and French. I don't think I'll need this just yet, but it's very interesting how this is extremely thin. Like almost like like parchment paper or something. Extremely thin. You can see through the side of it. Um, wow. Very interesting. But it does have English. It does have Spanish. Oh wait, no, strike that. English and French only. Okay. Alright, let's put this aside for right now. 
Now this is a good amount of weight in your hand. It doesn't feel overly heavy. Like I think you could play game for a long time without a problem, um, but it does feel quality. You can tell it's not some light little Walgreens or CVS video game system. It feels nice. Um, the Definitely the contour of the handle here feels very familiar in your hand. The controller feels very much like a normal PS5 controller, uh, ridges and all. So very cool. Let's go ahead and pull off the cover here. Ooh, let's see what it looks like. Up oh, there we go, guys. Check it out. Okay, so we have a little cover here. Looks like you want to press the power button and wait a few seconds, and there is a little code there you can scan to actually be able to get more help. Let's go ahead and pull the cover off here. There we go. Looking good. Nice and glossy, as you'd suspect. Now, one thing I discovered is the fact that between doing the original update, the battery that was originally in this when I opened it, um, fell down below uh, 50 percent and it does have a little disclaimer here the system software update will continue when you reach 50 okay so you almost want to charge this whole thing before you actually do your updates just a thought it doesn't come with a full battery so it's not like it drains battery quickly it's just the fact that i opened it and started immediately doing updates and it didn't quite have enough okay so after i got everything loaded up got it connected Everything has been working great for it. Um, I'm loving the picture of it. Very sharp looking picture. Um, hopefully my light is not affecting it too much here. In fact, let me dim the lights a little. Okay, so I dim the lights here just so you can kind of see the screen a little better without it, as much room reflection with bright studio lights going on here. But you can see this uh, screen is absolutely beautiful. Definitely digging it. I've definitely played some games on it. Um, it is speedy. There's not a lot of lag or any kind of connection issues. I think the hardest thing I had getting this all set up was just actually being able to have it um, connect to my PSN account because I had forgotten the passcode. So I had to go through a lot of trouble because I just don't go into it that much, you know, like changing settings and stuff. Now for connecting, this is kind of interesting. So can't log into your PS5. Um, I have been having my PS5 turned on for this to be able to do this. Now, if the PS5 is in sleep mode, it should be able to connect. Let me double check my connections here just to show you there is kind of sometimes a little bit of an issue trying to get this to connect. Let me go ahead and check this out. I'll be right back. Okay, so we got it connected here. I mean, one thing I will say, you know, sorry, PS5 fanboys, and I love both systems, don't get me wrong, but um, when I do try and connect with Xbox Live on my Surface tablet, I don't have any kind of problems connecting like I do with this. Now, to say that's a big deal, um, it probably isn't accurate, okay? It's, it's like a little snap. It's a little glitch trying to sign in sometimes. You know, you have to reconnect. Um, I feel like the PS5 kind of has to be on to be able to do this. That doesn't really make a lot of sense because if you're remote playing, you shouldn't have to. In fact, I kind of thought I could have the PS5 completely in sleep mode, completely inactive to be, and be able to play no problems, okay? Because, again, you want to be able to use this kind of away from home, although it does make a really handy second monitor in home. And just even holding this one-handed like this feels good. It feels fine, um, very stable. I'm not worried about dropping it. Very grippy, feels nice in the hand for sure. And the screen really is absolutely beautiful. Let me try and back up here and here's the game let me just show you this is a uh, jedi survivor a game i got for christmas and um isn't like necessarily like an easy game to run graphically like it's a ps5 game it's graphically intense um and it's the type of thing where um there's really no lag or problems of any kind i can move around here a little bit i can see what's going on it's looking good so i'm definitely digging out the graphics again just look at that screen that screen really is beautiful like it definitely is something where it's not lagging or anything at all it's showing all the detail there's no motion blur like apple vision pro when you're moving around you don't get a lot of blurriness it's very crisp sharp and precise which i love you know it, it really is nice so i'm sure this will work on a lot of different games i definitely dig the little like blue lighting on the sides here that's pretty cool too um Sorry about, again, having the front light off here. I just want to make sure you can see the screen okay. I really appreciate all this beautiful little blue lights. It looks good. The triggers are snappy, very good. I do not like the placement. Um, the power is right underneath the screen here, which is actually kind of hard to get to. So if you have a dock, it's probably very convenient. But if you don't have a dock, it's not convenient at all. Um, so I wish there was a different way of powering it, maybe wireless or something, which maybe there is. I just haven't tried that yet. I need to turn the brightness on here so you can kind of see some of these things. I just wanted to show you real quick. That is a USB-C right there underneath this big screen. OK, so it is kind of hard to get to that, you know, um, and the sound is nice. The sound volume up down is right here. Um, I don't know if those are the most convenient places for buttons, really. I almost wish it was somewhere else, maybe down here like a trigger. 
that you can push like that because um, there's a little bit of a lip to the screen so actually reaching over to hit the power button the refresh button or volume up down um, feels like you're kind of like reaching over and under you know and that could be a little bit hard actually compared to it could be just a simpler process you know but again just beautiful screen like I'm definitely digging how this looks and it plays games really nice so I'm definitely digging that um, I do have a case for it I will have a separate video for this uh, uh oh <laughs> I like that droid actually um, it does fit in the case very nicely. I'm sure there's a number of case options for you, uh, but we'll have a separate video on this case. Keeps it well protected. You have uh, lots of areas to zip things up. It's nice, but um, we'll save that for another video. That's enough. So where'd you find him? Right, Marcus. He was trying to buy a crate of electro proton bombs from a You can see the sound is really good, even without earbuds. But again, there is the Sony earbuds you can buy separately too. Okay, we'll get out of this real quick here and just go back to the home screen. And of course here you have all your normal PS network things you can do, which is great. You can exit the game if you want to, but I really like the idea I can play this game, you know, on this handheld device. Um, something about playing on handhelds, I think Nintendo 3DS has maybe changed the culture for me a little bit. Maybe about do the volume down here. It's changed my feelings a little bit about handhelds and I really do appreciate handouts. And there is really good feedback, Rumble, in these palm rests too. Uh, you know, Sony's had a love-hate relationship with Rumble over the years with legal problems and taking the Rumble out of, you know, what was it, PS3 and, you know, kept it come back again and different problems with it. PS1 didn't have it at first and then it had it in the dual action and it's the type of thing where um, it's not a given, but this does have really nice Rumble. And again, it feels really good. Like it's a really nice, real smooth, real grippy on the back. Um, I really couldn't ask for much more in a controller. And the fact that this thing which can, you can stream Netflix, you can, you know, do Spotify, you can do different things around the house too, which is nice. And that screen is really a beautiful big screen that's bigger than a cell phone. You know, it's a little bit different than a tablet. It's not too overwhelming to hold. It holds really good. So that's a problem with Surface playing Xbox Live is the fact that playing on a Surface, it looks beautiful, but it's a little clumsy to hold as far as being a gaming system. But this feels like it's all about the gaming and I love that. Okay, to recap, this is the highly sought after and often sold out PlayStation Portal, okay? This is something which is sometimes available for about $200 if you can find out, but the problem is it's really sold out everywhere and you really have to buy from scalpers. I will have an Amazon link for this, the earbuds, the case, everything else down below in the description. So be sure and click that for the very best prices. And I just want to thank you for watching this. I'm going to use this a little bit more. I may have some additional feedback or maybe have some additional videos on it down the road comparing it to the Steam Deck, its major competitor. Okay, so anyway, guys, let me know what you think. Do you like the PlayStation Portal? Have you tried it? Do you think it's something which is uh, worthwhile picking up for 200 bucks, which is not a lot of money in the scope of like Steam Decks and other types of handheld computers? Um, it's something to consider for sure. Um, so far, I'm impressed. I love the screen. Love the way it plays, feels everything else um, but you know I'm gonna go ahead and use it for a while and again I may have some additional feedback okay all right friends thanks for watching we'll talk to you soon for right now I'd say it's a buy okay for 200 bucks a lot of tech 200 bucks low price is nice much better value than other more expensive handheld computers all right all right talk to you soon bye bye